This is Tristan with Victress Games. Hello and welcome back. I don't know about you, but I am fascinated by the recent developments in AI. When AI first came out in 2022, it started off with AI art, and I didn't pay a lot of attention at the time. My first experience with AI was testing ChatGPT, and it completely blew my mind. It was more advanced than anything I had seen, and it opened my eyes to what the future might look like. I don't know exactly what AI will do, but I do know that it's going to change nearly everything. I decided to try AI art, and my first idea was to see if it could take my existing logo and improve it. I tried a few different AI applications. I started with Microsoft Bing Image Creator, which is actually pretty decent, but it did not currently have the ability to start from an existing image and have the AI generate off that starting image. Next, I tried Playground AI. Now, this was a tool that is very good. I generated quite a few images based on my current logo, but none of them jumped out as me as a good replacement. The third website I tried was Scenario. Scenario is pretty similar to Playground, and it may not even have all the features that Playground AI had, but it did have a focus in game development, which is something that I would like to learn more about since I would love to use AI art assets in my games. If you've never used an AI art generator before, I'm going to walk you through the steps so you know what it looks like. So this is Scenario.com. If you click Generate Images, they'll give you several different types of generators, which are basically like templates for the style of the art that will be made. So you can look through these and find whichever one you think is the style that matches your, what you're looking for. I actually just chose this first one, Asset Diffusion. And then to get your art, you just put in some words that describe the art you're looking for. For my logo, I use the words Cat, 3D, Low Poly, Glossy, Angular, and Pink. So that's the prompt. It's going to create four images at once. You can adjust the sampling steps. I left at the default of 50 steps. Now the reference image, we're going to start without that, but I'll show you what it looks like with the reference image. Dimensions and guidance. So this basically weights how much the image is going to look similar to your, based off your prompt versus randomness. And then the negative prompt, these are things that you don't want to appear in your image. Okay, let's just try and see what it builds. So it's going to create four images. Here are some of the images it created. While these are cute cats, they're not what I was looking for in my logo. So let's try creating them again with a different prompt. We we'll use the same generator. This time I'll say uh, black background. And then also wearing a helmet. Oh, and also a cat face. Let's try that. So it's just the face. Let's try these images, see if this prompt is any better. Okay, here's the images it created. These are also great images, but they are not close to my current logo. So the best way to get a picture that's similar to an existing picture is to add it as a reference image. So I'm just going to drop in my file here. And let's try generating images now. The one thing that's new is this influence. This controls how closely the new art resembles your existing art. I think 25 is a good value, but the more higher you increase this, the more it looks like your original image. So you can play with this to get a lot of different outcomes. It seems to take about 60 seconds to create these images. And you can see now what it looks like as it gets closer and closer to the final outcome. So these are quite different than my logo. I think I used maybe, let's try 35% on the influence and generate these. Okay, we're getting much closer to the current logo, only with this new 3D look. I mean, these are pretty cool outcomes. You could see how just by tweaking a few words and regenerating, you can get so many different outcomes. It's a really great way for a non-artist like myself to create new art. This is really an amazing thing. If you found this interesting, feel free to follow me on Twitter, where I talk about games I'm working on, extensions I'm building, and I'll probably be talking a lot more about AI. Let me know which AI art tools you like, or any AI tools you like. I'd love to learn about them. Things are changing so quickly that it's hard to keep track of them. I would love to find out what you find interesting. And if you generated some art, share it with me. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.